Well, I actually know a band that didn't tour last year, a big arena band that intentionally didn't tour last year so they could take the year off. How dumb do you think they think they are now? How are you? Where are you? Tell us what's going on. I'm okay. I'm in uh, Los Angeles. Reading a lot, um, listening to some music, watching tons of movies. But usually when I'm watching movies, I'm busy doing something else. Doing walks around the neighborhood, that's about it. Honestly, doing what, they, what they're saying, what they're suggesting. So you have your second solo album coming out next month. Um, what yeah. can you tell us about that? Well, I did a record about five or six years ago, um, This Machine Kills Artist. It was uh, me on acoustic guitar. Then realized it was time for me to do something like that again. So I started recording a record. This time around, I wanted to add, take my buddy Trevor Dunn. I played with him in Fanamas. He came out and we started, it was, had a couple of days, and I had all, I had pretty much my whole record done. And I go, well, why don't you try playing on one of these songs? And so then he did, and it was so great. I was like, this is really adding something to it that I hadn't quite considered. So then I just kept having him in the two days he was there play on more and more songs. And eventually he had played on most of the record, as well as the EP that just came out actually. I anticipate that you're gonna like write any music that will reflect uh, these times. We already have a bunch of stuff recorded. I have a new album coming out. There's no lack of that in our department. We have a lot of new stuff coming out. We have a, a reissue of a live record that's gonna come out in hyper limited edition. We were working on a Melvin's 1983 record, which the original was the original drummer. But those were in the works already, but long before this hit. They were already, we were already going to do that. We weren't doing it as a result of this. So it's always new to everyone except us. <laughs> do you have any inklings of what would the other side of this look like? Well, you know, there's a part of me that's very um, optimistic that thinks that we'll help each other out and we'll be very supportive. Because honestly, I think there's way more good people in the world than there are bad. Sure, there's bad people who will take advantage. Absolutely, but there's more good people and those are the people that are gonna rebuild everything.